Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to merge and unmerge cells in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now, just as a, as a quick primer, I'll tell you that 99% of all the data that you manipulate in Microsoft Excel can be tied to a simple matrix model where every cell is assigned a column and a row. And usually it's only assigned one column and one row, not two or more. And this allows us to create a very simple matrix whereby every piece of data can be mapped uh, within the spreadsheet. And like I said, the vast majority of all the information that you manipulate in Excel will usually fall under this model. But there are times when it's not convenient to have a cell mapped to a single column or a single row. Sometimes you need that data to span multiple columns or multiple rows. The most common time when you run into this scenario is when you're trying to put headers on a table, that trying to, specifically when you're trying to group certain headers that might already exist into a larger category. For example, in this table right here, we have various statistics for the NFL season. And you can see here that we have this column, which stands for third downs made, this is third downs attempted, and this is third down percentage or third down conversion percentage. Uh, very clearly, all of these are, are uh, applied to a category of third down uh, conversions. But there's nothing here that specifically shows them as all being related to third down unless you actually go through the data and just figure it out yourself. So if we wanted to make a more intuitive table, we might want to come up here and type third downs. And you could even go over here because you'll see if I scroll over a little bit that this this these three categories are designed for fourth downs. Now, even though I put this data up here and it's meant to be a header for these three columns, and this is meant to be a header for these three columns, it's not very first of all, it doesn't look very good this way. And it doesn't operate very well this way either. Because even though I've put this up here to be a header for all three of these columns. The data only exists in column J. There's no data above uh, inside column K here or no data inside column L. And in the worst case scenario, you can come here and accidentally put some other stuff that would really screw up this column header. So instead, what you'd really like to have is one set of data, one cell, if you will, that spans across all three of these columns so that it makes a very neat and tidy column header or grouping. So what we're going to do is select all three of these cells. I'm going to left click in this cell. And as I'm holding the left click button down on my mouse, I'm going to drag it over to the right. And that allows me to select all three of those cells in aggregate. And once I've done that, then I'm going to go up to my ribbon here. And I'm starting off on the Home tab. I'm going to stay on the Home tab. And I'm going to go under the Alignment section. You can see it's annotated as such here. And there's a button here called merge and center. It's the little button that always has a lowercase a and it has two little arrows pointing to the right and left on it. And you can see when I when I mouse over it that a hint box comes up that tells me that this is the merge and center button. If your screen resolution is higher and you have more space to work with it will actually say merge and center to the right of that button. I'll show you what that looks like here. I'm going to scroll this off my off the viewing screen, but the reason I do that is because it expands my ribbon, and you can see then that it actually shows you merge and center next to the button. But if you have a smaller screen resolution, actually let me go to 800 by 600, you may only see this uh, image here of the lowercase a. But at any rate, you'll see that there's a, a small arrow, the down arrow next to it. And we want to click on that because that's going to bring up a drop down menu. And when I right click on, or excuse me, when I click on that, these are the options that I have. I'm going to choose Merge Cells. Now, when I do that, you might notice that the display of this is slightly different. Whereas over here, I still have those, those pale gray lines that annotate different cells. Here, I no longer have those gray lines. And you can see as I mouse up and down or arrow up and down through the columns that when I get to this one, it automatically selects all three columns or all three cells because those cells have been merged across the columns. So it's impossible for me to just select K1 or L1 or J1. They're all together, so you can only select them in aggregate. 
Now I can come over here and do the same as well. And this time I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to go back to that button, the Merge and Center button, and pull up the drop down. And this time I'm going to pick, instead of Merge Cells, I'm going to pick Merge and Center. Notice that what that does is it neatly centers it in the middle of those three merged cells. Now you can do the same thing with this one manually because all it's doing is it's changing the alignment up here. So I can go here and click this center button and now it's centered as well. Whereas this one is already centered because it was done automatically when I chose merge and center as opposed to just merge cells. I'll also notice that if I expand this row more, everything in the merge cells is aligned by default to the bottom. So if you don't want it aligned to the bottom, you can come up here to your alignment buttons and you can vertically align it in the middle or you can align it to the top or you can align it right back down to the bottom again. It's your choice. Now if I decide later that I don't want these cells merged anymore, what I do is I go back and I select this cell and I'm going to go back up to my merge and center button and click this arrow so I get the drop down menu and I'm going to select unmerge cells and now you'll see my data goes back to being it's just three different three different cells there now you don't have to just do columns either you can merge cells or rows so you could decide that you wanted to merge these three rows, these three cells across three rows like this. I can go here, click Merge Cells, and now those are merged into a block. In fact, you can merge cells across multiple rows and multiple columns into one big cell. For example, I can come here, I can select all of this, and I can click Merge cells or merge and center and when I type here now you'll see that there's one big cell that spans across all these columns and all these rows and centered here in the middle so it looks good oh and when I finally get done with it if I want to I can click here and go to unmerge cells and I'm back to having a single value that concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.